Welcome back. I'm Deirdre Bozen. It's time for Tech Check. The comeback in tech stocks this year, it hasn't exactly been a loved one. Many have argued that this is a low-quality rally, the speculative, unprofitable names leading the way, little fundamentals to back it up. But then there is the chip space, moving higher this year on the notion that chip inventory levels and demand will bottom in the first half of the year, and recovery, or, or at least a stabilization, can begin in the second half. Plus, chips are, of course, as you've heard by now, a key part of the hot new AI chat GPT story, even if consumer and enterprise spending is in decline. Generative AI, that's creating excitement for NVIDIA and GPUs, also subsectors like memory and networking. SMH Semi ETF, that's up nearly 20 percent this year versus the Nasdaq's 10 percent gain. And NVIDIA, of course, the new big tech leadership up 60 percent. The latest earnings, though, they do tell a bit more of a mixed story. Marvell shares lower today on a weaker outlook. But the street asks, does that guide suggest that the worst is now behind it? Not yet, at least, as you can see, shares down nearly 9 percent. Broadcom, though, on the other hand, moving higher. Hawk Tan says they expect to see a, quote, exponential rise in demand for its networking chips this year as the cloud giants look to deploy more generative AI in their systems. I think it's still early innings on generative AI, but we obviously are also indicating as we are seeing a, a very strong and, and a strong sense of urgency among our customers especially in the hyperscale environment, to be to not miss out, uh, not to be late in this trend. And we have seen a lot of urgency and excitement this week. So as that continues around ChatGPT and more companies jump on the bandwagon, you could argue the market is going to be looking for more of these ancillary winners. And as a group, semis are hoping to hold up the tech space, guys, in an otherwise um, tough year, I'd say. Back to you.